Whether you've noticed this or not, AI is actually becoming a bigger and bigger part of every person's life. Not only can it help you with your schoolwork, your uni essays, or maybe even your job, you can actually use AI to make career mode more fun too. I found 10 different ways that AI can improve career mode, and today I'll be sharing how you can use AI to have more fun on FIFA. The AI we'll be using is ChatGPT. If you want to give this a go, all the prompts I've used and a link to the site are in the description. So let's start off with what I think is the best way of using AI to make your career modes more fun, and that is to recommend you a team to manage. So it might not be fully up to date, in fact I think ChatGPT is only up to date until 2019. Not only can you just ask for a club in a certain league or certain nation, but you can also ask for a backstory. For example on screen right now you can see we asked for one in England. It recommended AFC Wimbledon and told us which league to find them in. It gives a backstory where it tells you about how the relocation to Milton Keynes by MK Dons was controversial. It it tells you the fans are passionate and dedicated, which I fully agree with, and even if we don't like that, all we'd have to do is ask for one in a different country. So we asked for one in Poland. How about Lech Poznan, a team from the Polish First Division? Again, we get the backstory to Lech Poznan, we find out why they're an interesting team to use, and this was all done by typing in two sentences. Because this version of the AI is based around being a chatbot, it's super easy to get the information you want, and that's why this is such a good way of doing it. But if you're more interested in creating your own clubs rather than using a real one, you can also use it to generate full creator club ideas. We did this on stream the other day, we spent around an hour generating different clubs from all around Europe and generating them, creating them in FIFA to see what they would be like. You can see on screen right now, we got recommended one there from Paris Saint-Germain. We didn't like it, all we have to do is regenerate it. We get recommended another one, Fortuna Toscana, based in Florence. It gives us a cool backstory yet again. It was maybe found by a group of local artisans who are passionate about football. It gives us a playing style, so possession, attacking, it does seem to like this combination quite a lot of attacking, possession, pressing style of football, but it still is interesting to get a playing style from the bot. Next up, you get a transfer philosophy. So this club values young, talented players. You know exactly what you're going to be doing when you're signing new players. And then finally, we asked it for the colours of the home, away and third kits. It knew that this would be based in Fiorentina, so Toscani, Tuscany, Fiorentina. So it chose the colours from the city's flag. You can see how clever the AI is and how almost perfect it is at generating something like this. So it generated a football club in a footballing city or a footballing nation there of Italy and Tuscany. It generated a backstory, which is a believable one. I'm sure there's a lot of clubs out there that were formed by artisans, so that's like artists, things like that. Playing style, it chose real football styles, so something you can actually emulate on FIFA. The transfer philosophy is something, again, that it does have a couple of different styles that you can use. Uh, we had one from Bratislava that liked to sign older players. This one from Tuscany likes signing young, high potential players, which again, is believable. And then finally, you don't have to think about what kits are sort of realistic. You can just go with the ones from the city flag, which somehow this bot knows exactly what we wanted. And that's what makes this such a cool creator club ideas sort of generator. It's super easy to customize as well. All we had to do is change the word European to maybe British, Polish, Turkish, German, wherever you want your team to be, even South American, you know, United States, it would generate a realistic career mode idea from that place. That's what makes this so powerful is the amount of customization of getting exactly what you want to help you with your career mode. It isn't just recommending career mode teams or recommending creator club ideas that you can do with AI though. You can do things like creating storylines or enhancing ones that you've already thought about with full background. Let's say you want to do a save where maybe you return Klopp to Borussia Dortmund. You ask the bot about it and it will give you a full story. It'll tell you how Klopp was beloved around footballing world when he was at Borussia Dortmund. It knows the history. It tells you how happy the fans were when the news broke that Klopp was coming back to the club. It tells you what the fans were looking at, how happy Klopp was to be back, what sort of things he did at the club and what happened in the end of the save. So this can give you a full season and it can give you some objectives to try and replicate. For for example, in the first few months, Klopp was bringing Gegenpress back into the club. The players were adapting quickly, but it was slow to start off with, so maybe the first couple of games, it's going to be a bit difficult for you to get the high pressing style to work for your team. Then all of a sudden, your team starts to click and you climb up the league, and then boom, all of a sudden, Klopp's return was a fairy tale story as he led the team to the league title. Years later, Klopp's legacy at Dortmund still lives on. His return was just that good, and that's exactly what your career mode could be. Now you know if you turn Klopp to Dortmund, you win the title in the first season, he's going to be a legend forever at Borussia Dortmund. You try and do that in your first season and you'll be a legend too. 
The AI is actually also really good if you just want to use it as an assistant manager. So you might not want to get team recommendations, you might not want a storyline to follow, you can just ask it what formation and tactics you should use on your next FIFA save. The AI will say something like, you know, this depends on what players you have, but here are some formations you can consider. And you can ask it for two, three, four, five, even 10 different formations, and then you can ask it to just pick, pick a random one. So here we got the 433, we got the 4231, we got the 442, and we got the 352. Even though the chatbot doesn't want to pick one, you can just ask it for a random number and it would pick the three. All of a sudden, you've got a 442 classic formation with two forwards and two central midfielders. You can actually combine a bunch of the ideas we've mentioned in this video together as well. So here we could write a short story about a new manager who takes over AFC Wimbledon while playing the 442 formation. You can submit this and then you'll get a full story about a career mode where someone does exactly what you ask for. So this is about a new manager called Jack. He took over AFC Wimbledon. He played a 442 formation in the classic style and he was determined to make a name for himself. He developed the youth academy, he sent scouts out across the UK, so that's something you can do in FIFA career mode, and soon the youth team will flourish. Several players are promoted to the senior team, and the AFC Wimbledon's performances really improved on the pitch. Under Jack's leadership, AFC Wimbledon became a force to be reckoned with. They started challenging for titles and cups, so maybe this is something you can do in your career mode as well. Years passed, and as Jack retires from management, let's say this is after 15 seasons, AFC Wimbledon continued to produce talented players. You can see sometimes the chatbot is a little bit hard to work with here when it didn't want to give Jack a last name, but if you ask it in the right way, you can see that Jack Johnson is the new manager of AFC Wimbledon, and that is a full FIFA career mode idea right there. The last thing we'll look at in today's video is expanding a takeover. So let's pretend here that Everton FC, of course, they're in big financial worries at the minute, have been bought over by a Spanish billionaire. They play in the Premier League and we want to know what his philosophy and playing style would be while we're the manager of Everton. So we get a club philosophy here. We're going to have an attractive attacking style of football that entertains the fans. We're going to be focusing on player growth and development on and off the pitch, which, you know, we can do that very easily on FIFA. Build a team that's competitive, of challenging for the Premier League and in Europe, giving back to the local community. So maybe that's having some Spanish youth players and also some players from Liverpool in your squad. And then the playing style, we're going to be playing high press, ball possession and attacking styles of play. Of course, because this is fully customizable, you can do anything with this. You could have an American billionaire in charge of AC Milan. You could have a Turkish billionaire in charge of Manchester United. You could do any combination you want. Then you can ask it for what kind of chairman they'd be, how strict they'd be, how much money they have, what philosophies they have, who they want to sign, how they want to play. And all of a sudden, you have a fully unique save. You can then add things on like right here, suggest the Spanish club that Everton could be paired with. It recommends Real Sociedad. So maybe your Spanish billionaire is a Sociedad fan. Maybe this means in the first transfer window, you go out and you buy Oyarzabal, you buy Ilaramendi, and you buy Le Normand because your chairman really likes these players. There's so many different ways you can do this. And if you've got any suggestions for ways that you think AI could help your career mode be even more fun, make sure you leave them in the comments below. But if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. If you've got any good ideas, maybe put them in the comments. I'll try and make maybe a part two if this is really well liked, but thank you all for watching. I'll see you soon. Cheers and goodbye.